What's up, everybody? This is Chris. No, nope, this is BS for Build. I'm Chris. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is BS for Build. I'm Chris. Today we are filming a different type of episode. Um, I might be at work. I might not. I might be in jail. You never know. Um, I've been working on the BRZ. This is a bit of a BRZ update. I've been working on the BRZ to no avail. So that got me thinking about, you know, engine swaps and different things. And I started thinking about it and it was like, if I swap the engine on the BRZ, then it's gonna be a full out race car and I won't be able to drive it around. And I kind of wanted a BRZ daily driver. I kind of got my heart set on that. So that got me looking at the auctions and with how many people have asked about, you know, how do you get these cars and stuff like that, I figured I'd do a little bit of episode uh, getting into that. So we are three minutes away from an auction with a BRZ coming up. I'll give you more details on that after the intro. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are on a undisclosed um, online auction website. Uh, I don't have a sponsorship deal with these guys or anything like that, so I don't really want to pump their brand too much. There are a lot of online auction sites. Depending on your state, some states you can buy salvage cars without a dealership license, some states you can't. Some states you need a broker and you can hire online brokers. There are a lot of things, just Google it, find a company that you like, and then find the car that you like. So today we're looking for a replacement BRZ. I found a black BRZ in Reno, Nevada. Um, and then, you know, my advice on this is always pick a limit. So my limit that I've decided is $7,000. That's the highest I want to go on this car. It's already been pre-bid up to $4,000 before it goes on the auction block. The way it works is you can bid ahead of time and then 30 minutes before the auction, it freezes. And then when it goes on the block, then everybody bids again. So the odds of me getting this BRZ at 7,000, uh, it's kind of up in the air. You never know. It's also on a seller reserve, meaning the insurance company has said that we're going to look at the highest bid and we may say, Okay, you don't get it for that amount of money because it's too low. So what I'm going to be doing today is trying to bid on this BRZ, uh, trying to win this BRZ, and then we would, me and a friend are going to bomb it down to Reno to go get this BRZ, bring it back to the shop, and swap a couple parts and end up with two BRZs, one race car, one daily driver. Uh, that's if we get this. We don't know if we're going to get it at all. So I just wanted to film this process so uh, everybody could be in at the ground floor of if we get it. Okay, so auction is going and we are one car away so they're bidding on some Cadillac Eldorado and then my BRZ is going to come up and we're going to find out if I get it or not. I'm very nervous. This is like the worst I get ever is when I'm waiting to get a new car. Okay, BRZ is up. I'm just going to throw in a bid here. So we're at 42 and I'm out bid. 42.50 and I'm winning. And this normally just bounces back and forth a lot between people. So 43. So I'm in a bit of a bidding war with somebody from California. I really hope they're not a viewer. Um, we're at 47, 48, 48.50, 5,000. I double bid on myself, 5,300. So we're in a bidding war and if you guys are buying at home, um, I would always say, if you get in a bidding war with somebody, just give up. Um, the best cars I've ever gotten, the best prices I've ever got were by finding a car that other people just really weren't that interested in and then not being in a bidding war and oh it's clicking around at 6200 go 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 yes yes we won 6200 what a deal okay so our limit was 7000 the pictures are showing up for a different car I was like did I just buy a Nissan Xterra <laughs> okay great so um, we won the bid at 6200 sorry like I was saying if you get in a bidding war with somebody and you are uh, near your final price or something like that or this is a car that you just don't have to have I would bow out, or if it's a common car and you could get another one, I would bow out because the best prices I've ever got are when I can sneak my bids in and no one else really is in love with that car, so I'm not in a bidding war. Anyways, that was a bit of a bidding war, but I assume that he set his level at 6,000, I set my level at 7,000, we got it for 6,200. Uh, do not forget that there's a ton of fees with these things. There are gate fees to get it out of there, there's towing fees, you need to buy uh, some form of registration, you need to insure your vehicle. And they charge you about 10%. So this is gonna like this car is gonna cost me 7,200 probably to get it out of there. And then obviously there's a lot of repairs. I'm very excited. It looks like we're going to Reno. <laughs> what does this mean for the other BRZ? It means race car, all out race car. This BRZ I just bought is gonna be my daily driver. The other BRZ that's at home that you guys are all familiar with, full on race car, engine swap, at least 400 horsepower, aiming for between four and 500 horsepower, um, and all sorts of really, really fun mods and no more me uh, 
fiddling with wiring harnesses because I'm really, really tired of that. Um, and this is going to be good because I'll have one BRZ that I'll be able to get done kind of relatively soon and a little bit, a little bit longer process BRZ uh, to do some really hardcore race car mods that I'd never want to do in a daily driver. So I'm really glad that we'll have a little bit more footage and a little bit more stuff to film for the channel. I'm so stoked. I'm just like adrenaline pumped and I need a beer. Uh, Invoice amount six thousand seven hundred seventy three dollars. So the fees were about five hundred seventy bucks. That's pretty good. Now I have to pay a brokerage fee because that car was in Nevada, so I had to use a broker. That's going to be another two hundred fifty bucks. Got the car for seven thousand dollars. That's ironic that it's exactly dead on the nose of what my limit was. Um, we got to go get this car. If you guys watched the videos for Build Road Trip, this will be like that, except more like roadkill, and um, hopefully people will watch it. Uh, today is Thursday. We will be in Reno no later than Monday. Get ready for some episodes. Um, very excited. Check us out in a week. Uh, I forgot about how to reach us. Um, you guys probably know this if you're already watching, but, uh, but oh well. Uh, check us out, bsforbuild.com, uh, facebook.com slash bsforbuild, Instagram hashtag bsforbuild. Um, use the hashtag on your own projects. It's really cool. Uh, please remember to like the video. I like this video. This is my favorite video I've ever filmed. <laughs> I got a car. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Peace.